CataractCoach.com, ocular service transplantation, the Cincinnati procedure to save these severely damaged eyes. This is from our podcast yesterday with Dr. Edward Holland. So severe alkali injury with limbal stem cell deficiency, conjunctival deficiency. Look at the some bluff on there. Conjunctival is stuck to the lids. You can't even get the lid speculum inside the eye here. Overgrowth completely over the cornea by the conjunctiva. This patient had four previous failed corneal transplants. Well, you got to ask yourself, like we discussed in yesterday's podcast, why do the corneal transplants fail? And again, it's the limbal stem cell deficiency. So you have to do this Cincinnati procedure, which we're showing you here. So all the conjunctival was cleaned up here, and now you're going to do a transplant. And so remember, these patients required systemic immunosuppression here. So here's the tissue. You can see it's some corneal tissue there, some limbal tissue. And this is so important to be able to rehabilitate the ocular surface. Now, coming back, you can do the corneal transplant. And now, at this point, getting the corneal transplant in, now the transplant will survive. And you can see there's a large diameter graft, and that's being placed there. And look at the post op result. Wow, what a difference. That is really a miracle, an unbelievable surgery. So here's another one. So this is the total eyelid adhesions and corneal scarring. Again, this is the Cincinnati procedure, named after the Cincinnati Eye Institute, where Dr. Holland practices and where he has developed a huge clinic which specializes in these tough cases. And if you heard yesterday's podcast, he's also helping to design centers of excellence across the U.S. and hopefully even internationally to teach these techniques to other surgeons to help the thousands of patients in the U.S. alone who suffer from this. And so now you can see careful dissection. The video is obviously highly edited here. And you really have to just take your time here to dissect the, all this uh, conjunctival and scarring off of the cornea here. And once this is done, again, it's going to be combined living and deceased donor tissue transplant. So again, here, cleaning things up. And again, the grafts need these stem cells, the corneal uh, transplants, to survive. So you can see here he's preparing that um, corneal and limbal tissue graft. And once this is done, uh, that's a good assistant, by the way. This is three hands operating right now, so it's obviously a very good assistant. And once this is done, again, the patients do require systemic immunosuppression here, unless you can find an identical twin for the patient. So here we go, suturing that into place. And again, I think you'd really love the podcast. He talked about this in detail. And if you have patients who have these types of difficulties and have these severe injuries, especially these alkali-type burns, or even limbal stem cell, stem cell failure from contact lens use, yes, you better listen to that podcast. And these patients really can finally be rehabilitated. So ask yourself, before you do a second, a third, a fourth, a fifth cornea transplant, why do the transplants keep failing? That's the key question to ask yourself here. So you can see at this point, that's step one of your Cincinnati procedure. Let this heal up. Again, you're going to require some immunosuppression here for this patient. There's a contact lens. You can get that to fit inside. And then once this is healed up, you can come back and now do your corneal transplantation. So now you have the limbal stem cells to support the corneal transplant. So your new cornea will be just fine. So here, Dr. Holland doing a, a penetrating keratoplasty. You can see the flaringa ring has been sutured in place to give some stability to the eye. There's the donor tissue. Suture that in place, and you're going to have a fantastic outcome. These are truly amazing cases. I really encourage you to check out that podcast. I promise you'll learn so much. It's everywhere where you find podcasts. It's the top podcast in ophthalmology for a reason. It teaches you how to handle such difficult cases and how to be a more successful ophthalmologist.